I want to spend today talking about the funding culture, which most people don't talk to you about. If you've ever spent any time funding any kind of deal, and it's no different in restaurants, you may want to be prepared to hear no. You're going to hear no. You're going to hear no. You're going to hear no. If you don't hear no, you're not asking enough people. But there's more to the culture than that. The funding culture is really built around confidence. You have to be able to have the confidence to walk up to people you don't know and ask them the critically important question. Do you know someone who may be interested in going out with me? Let me explain to you what I mean by that. When I was a young man, all of my buddies in high school asked all the girls out. I never asked one. They'd walk up to the girl they liked in high school and they'd say, will you go out with me? And she'd say no. They'd walk up to the next girl, will you go out with me? They'd say no. At some point, after their ego was trashed, they would finally find one dumb enough to say yes. Well, I like to think I'm a reasonably intelligent person with a pretty large ego. I didn't like hearing no, so I decided I wasn't going to ask. What I did is I walked up to the good-looking women and I said, by chance do you have a friend that looks a lot like you that might be willing to go out with me? I wasn't asking her. It's amazing how that approach then had that young lady say, well, why aren't you asking me? Why are you asking my friends? At that point, she just opened up the perfect question. Why are you asking me out? And I got plenty of dates. Okay? Finding investment capital is the same way. Too often what happens is a guy walks up to a potential investor or gets a meeting with a potential investor and he says to the potential investor, would you like to invest in my business? The guy says no. But the better question is, do you know of anybody who has capital that you could introduce me to that might be interested in investing in my business? Which then doesn't put the person in the position to say no. It puts him in the position to ask, really provide two answers. One is, yes, let me introduce you to them. Or the second is, why aren't you asking me? Oh, I didn't know you'd be interested. Are you interested in possibly looking at that? Well, yeah. You'll close the deal a lot more. Trust me. The culture of funding is critical to the success of funding. How you dress, how you act. You won't ever get a deal if you're not confident. You won't ever get a deal if you're not able to look somebody straight in the eyes. You won't ever get a deal if you can't speak about what it is you're presenting just off the cuff, just because you're passionate about it, just because I love what I'm doing. This is the idea. Do you know of anybody that might want to go out with me? Why aren't you asking me? Oh, well, I can. And you close the deal. The culture is critical. Let me give you a couple other things about culture. People you're talking to are wealthy. Otherwise, you wouldn't be talking to them. Right? The target money you're looking for from an angel investor in the restaurant sector, 100000 to 250000 in cash. Now, nobody wants to lose money. Nobody wakes up and says, I want to lose all my money. But what you're asking is 100 to 250,000. These guys are multimillionaires. And they don't want to lose their 100 or 250,000 dollars either, but it's not the end of the world if they do. If it is the end of the world, if they lose that money, then you're talking to the wrong person. I know that from experience. In my case, I invest in deals. 
Well, when I invest in deals, I know what my threshold of pain is. I know how much money I'm willing to put into a deal. I also know that if you go a dollar over it, I'm not interested. I also know if you give, ask me for too little money, I'm not interested. If you go to a guy who's a multi, let's say, billionaire, and you ask him to do a deal that's a $50,000 deal, he's not even going to be interested in giving you the time for the meeting because to him, $50,000 is nothing. But what angel investors do is they invest in multiple deals. So the, the folks that invest in restaurant deals, they might invest in six or seven or 10 or 12 different restaurant deals. Some of them will be successful. Some of them won't. They don't want to lose their money. But it's not the end of the world if they do. Well, so when you're building your culture for funding, you're going to have to understand the type of people that rich people are. Most rich people, they're on time. No way around it. Most rich people are up before you because the early bird gets the one. Most rich people are driven. Most rich people are highly tactical. They're going to look at the details. You're going to have to build that culture in yourself. If you're not that type of person, if you're not on time, if you're not driven, if you're not passionate, if you're not focused, you won't get them to give you the money. You won't get them to introduce you to their friends. Restaurant funding is not about finding one investor. It's about finding a group of independent angel investors. And between them, you get 100 from this guy, and 200 from this gal, and 150 from this guy, and 200 from this girl. That's how you get the money, and you put it together to do your deal. Now, the reality in the restaurant business is there's a certain amount of money, the total package of money that you have to chase. For the most part, if you're chasing less than $500,000, it's highly difficult to get the money. If you're chasing much more than $3 million, it's highly difficult to get the money. The window of space in the restaurant business is 500000 to $3 million. And actually, if you even dialed it more, it, the best numbers are about 750000 to about $1.5 You get too much outside of that window, it becomes difficult. 